Getting the proportions correct can be a very difficult part of any project. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the proportions right on your builds. So stay tuned. One of my favorite methods of getting the proportions right are making blueprints. And as you can see, this is a blueprint for a B-47, which I do plan on building. I also hand drew one for the B-2. There is the blueprint for the B-58. And here is the blueprint for the World War II Flying Wing. Now I have actually gotten a lot of questions asking how I make these blueprints, and especially making the large ones. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So stay tuned. Alright, so in this one, we're actually going to do the B-25 as our example. And what we're going to do is search blueprints or schematics or whatever you want. And we're going to take this image here, and we're going to copy it and bring it over here to our Microsoft page, like so. And you're going to want to paste it. I'm not super technical here, but just generally get, get on <laughs> what you want. And we're going to want this the paper to have very thin margins. So have this be narrow. We're going to want it to be orientated in landscape. And we do know that the B-25 had a wingspan of about 20 meters, and we're doing the one meter for one inch. You might see my ruler here, but we're doing the one meter to one inch conversion. So if we know it's gonna be 20 meters, then we're gonna cut that in half, or we're gonna, we're gonna put half of the plane and do it in 10 meters. So we're gonna first, this is what you wanna do, you're gonna wanna crop this. And since we only want this part, just to give us a general idea of the proportions, we're gonna come in down like this, Try to get as small as we can, but we want to print out as much as we can at one. We're going to try to cut it down exactly at 10, or exactly at half. And now this needs to be about 10 inches from wingspan to wingspan. And you're going to have to verify this to make sure that it is once you print it out, because you want to make sure you have it, right? And then you're going to want to continue to make this larger, and we need it to be about 10 inches. and. If you can find that's not going to fit like that, then you're going to want to... Mm, you need to fit a little bit more in here. Like this. Alright, so... If we make this a little smaller, we're going to crop this a little bit because it's not going to fit. We need to be able to fit all of this. We're going to do about that, keeping it at the halfway mark so we know this should be about 10. And we're going to bring it out like this. And... Once we feel like it's at about 10, it needs to be a little bit smaller than this. Like this. Once it's at about 10, like this, then we're good. And we can go up and print this. So let's, let's do that. As you can see, once I printed out one wing, it came out to about 10 inches. So now that we have our scale, we need to go out and print the rest of this. All right, now that we know how big the wing's gonna be, now we have printed this half, we're gonna actually wanna click on this again, and without changing how big it is, we're gonna wanna press crop, we're just gonna wanna move it a little bit over onto this side, at the, about the halfway part, point. You want it to overlap a little bit so you know how to match it, and then you're gonna wanna print this. Be sure to do that with the other parts of the plane as well, like the nose and the tail. All right, once you've printed out all the pieces of your plane, you're going to only need a few more materials. You're going to need some scissors or something to cut them with, and you're going to need some tape. Now, what we're going to do is, on our pieces here, and this one I'm using the tail, we're going to want to cut off those margins that sort of got in the way, like this. Don't cut off all of them, but cut off as many as you can, and you'll see why in a minute here don't need to cut all of them off, but you're going to want to cut off the ones that are going to get in your way. So, let's do that.
All right, once you've cut off as many of the margins as you can, you're gonna wanna leave some on here and you'll see why, but you're gonna wanna start trying to fit this together like a piece, look like a puzzle. And I'm gonna mar match it using these two lines right here. You're gonna lay that right on top until it fits about where you think it should be. Somewhat like that. And then I'm gonna bring in these two. I'm gonna place the nose right here and try to match it to where it goes. Like that, this is very delicate. And then we're gonna put the tail where we think the tail goes. Right here. Like that. After all that, we get a pretty minifigure scale outline. And they may vary by a couple of centimeters, but as long as this generally gives you the proportions, this is more about the proportions, not the size. Now you know how long the tail should be and how long the nose should be and where the wings should go on the body. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and please be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>